Hey guys, it's your favorite commentator here, Emzo, back with another hot video here. This time, after two awesome play days of the European Pro League, we're going to be here to talk about the different ways the pros are using Oryx for some great new tricks and tips so you can play Oryx like a pro in your ranked games. Now I don't want to waste your guys' time with an intro, so we're just going to take a brief moment of silence for the intro. Okay. First up, we got Leon Gids taking full advantage of the ability of Oryx to dash around and use that to dictate exactly where the hard walls and the soft walls should go so he knows exactly where he can run through later. Next we have Leon setting up some proximity alarms. First one, on a nice hard wall he can't run through, so not going to be terribly useful, but then he finds a nice spot here he's going to put inside a grandfather clock that he smashes open, throws it in there so that way it can chime twice a day, which uh, lasts very long in Kanto's hands and thankfully brings out one of the important players here, Aces, who doesn't really have a lot of impact, just in time for him to die to Kanto. And then of course that leads to a nice little phone hack, good use of the camera there as well. Leon also makes some great use of his ability upstairs by being, well, the sneakiest operator around, of course, so he's crouch walking around the top floor. No one could possibly hear such a quiet operator. Uses his starter pistol then to make sure he can rotate using his new ability to rotate down hatches. Finally, speed helps him get downstairs for the clutch attempt just in time to give Kanto the ace through a hole that, unfortunately, he didn't get a chance to make himself for a surprise entry. Unfortunate. Luckily, his teammate Aces learned a thing or two here in another match using his ability to dictate where things should go and just basically marking the floor, dictating how the hatch should be set up, which of course he will definitely be playing since that'll be open here so he can rotate into the bathroom as needed. So again, the uh, great commanding operator because he can use this dash to just move back and forth and give those pings and just really do a good job dictating how things should be set up. He then takes full ability of his ability to rotate quickly upstairs to rotate in through a wall into console and then quickly peek a window where an attacker shoots it. Lastly, we have saves using Oryx on Cafe to do the most important thing of all, which is rotate very, very quickly during the prep phase, opening up hatches from below and then using them to actually climb up here into Christmas, where you can then go find a nice neat hiding spot where the attackers definitely will not drone him out. So he can hide definitely behind this bar here and then take advantage of his awesome speed to make this very quick peek on the attacker, succeed in making that kill, and then run back down at the very end of the round, taking full again advantage of the speed, the accuracy of the MP5 there, and his ability to open up walls very quickly to find some angles in for this very nice clutch attempt. Here he makes eventually succeeding against Kanto Ricchetti who you might have remembered seeing from the very first matchup here. Great job by Saves, who definitely knows how to use Oryx quite well. And we will see him use a similar play again in the next round. Much to great effect here, where he goes back and hides behind the bar once again. This time they drone him out. So again, making full advantage of Oryx's ability then to rotate through a wall in the freezer, drop down hatch, run away, and then have no impact on the rest of the round. So there we go, some great ways pros are using probably the most impactful new operator in the game here in the European League. And I look forward to many more fantastic plays.